arquitectura? Sí. Ah, <laughs> we as a firm we started in 1999, late 1999, uh, and me and Filippo did a lot of uh, work before that, and we worked for different uh, firm like uh, Michele De Rucchi, office here in Milan, uh, Renzo Piano in Paris, or Filippo, then Chico Filippo in London. And uh, we established a company in some way with the idea of having like a, a, a creative lab, um, mainly because our previous experiences were so already very different. You know, we, we work uh, uh, in interior design projects, in, mm. uh, in big architectural projects, and so we couldn't really fit into a firm that it was very specialized in one thing. Of course, our main uh, idea was to go uh, into more architectural projects, but we love doing interiors, so in some way we didn't want to uh, lose one, uh, one part of our professionality. And at the same time, in Italy, especially for young firm, firm it's much easier to get the interior design projects before having a proper possibility to do architecture. Uh, and still it is, I mean, uh, in the first uh, four or five years, we had something like 80% of the project were interior, as now it's probably the other way around, 80% mm -hmm. is probably architecture. Uh, but again, this kind of attitude allows us to, uh, to bring to our client usually a, a full package, so we, we always think of a building not only from exterior, but also how it will be mm -hmm. lived from the inside. So we always, also in the pre, uh, preliminary stage, we always think how people will live inside of a building. Mm -hmm. So this attitude of designing interiors help us to give this, you know, mm -hmm. 360 degrees approach to the mm -hmm. project, not only just an object mm -hmm. that you don't know really how it works inside. Mm -hmm. And I think this is really important for us. So it's, it's important that the building looks uh, good and it's get the, he, the right relationship with the, uh, the, city the area, the area exactly, yeah. but at the same time it's uh, it, it able to create an interesting s in s interior space mm -hmm. and also that you feel the architecture from inside and not only you know, like an object that you don't know how it, it will look uh, inside. That's why we always have problem when uh, they, our client ask us for a, a preliminary sketch or something like that but because for us the process is always much more complicated it's not like uh, you know some actors they just do a sketch and then they will develop what's inside of the building it's always very difficult for us until the building is not really working in terms of distribution in terms of the quality of the space inside we will never give an idea of the exterior, you know, it's something that is always connected and goes together. Um, the other uh, difference between, I think, our firm and some of our firm is that as we don't have a specialization, we don't have, you know, a scale, we can go from a very small object to a, an interior to a large building. We don't have a theme because we work on, uh, you know, residential, office, uh, uh, shops, uh, commercial, hotels. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very a good way to be forced to do research because, of course, when you do residential all the times, uh, the materials, the you know, the regulation, a lot of things. Of course, as, as soon as you get this experience, you can use it again for the next project. And this is very good in terms of money because you become faster to develop projects. But as you change projects every time, this uh, part of the process, the, the research process, the beginning of a project is, is much more intense for us. Yeah. It's very hard for us to use you know, previous experience. Mm -hmm. Of course, now it's easier because we have more work, we have uh, more projects developed, but 
because it, it's always so different, uh, it's very hard for us to use that. And uh, I think this is very important. I think we, we like that, even if it's much more heavy and it's much more time consuming. It's a way to be forced not to, to replicate yourself. It's a, you force yourself to do always something different mm -hmm. and you approach the project in, in the way that uh, you know, every single project needs to be seen uh, as a new thing, which I think is very important.